Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a spring drugstore makeup using affordable makeup brushes and every single product I used in this video is from the drugstore. Like, every single one. You can go to CVS or Target or Walgreens or Walmart, whatever, and purchase all of these products and I don't think any of them were over $10. I think $10 was like the most I spent. Um, I had some of these products and then I purchased some of them because, for example, I didn't have any eyebrow products that were from the drugstore. I used the Ardell Medium Brown Brow Pomade and I actually really like it. It's a little bit different formula than the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, if anyone wants me to do like a comparison video, I can do that for you guys. It's definitely different formula but I kind of like how my brows turned out I'm not hating them I don't know if I like it more than the Anastasia one but I don't hate it so I did like a bronzy smoky eye and then like a natural base and I'm obsessed my highlight is still popping and it is from the drugstore thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Alright, so to start off this look, I'm going to be taking the Ardell Pomade, and mine is in medium brown. And I really like it, but I just feel like the formula is way different than the Anastasia one. The Anastasia one is a little bit more thick, and you kind of have to work with the product a little bit more. This one is a little bit more, I want to say greasy, but not greasy. It's just, it's creamier, and that can be a good thing or a bad thing kind of a little bit more messy but I like it it was like six dollars so it's definitely worth it so try it out and then I'm gonna be cleaning up my brows and priming my lids with the Glamouflage concealer I love this concealer for cleaning up my brows if you have like stray hairs and you don't want to like pluck your eyebrows or you don't have time this is seriously amazing it just covers up all of the little strays I don't really like it that much for priming my eyelids, but I need to find a different primer, but it'll work. So I'm just going to take the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette, and I'm just going to be taking the white color and setting that concealer immediately so my eyeshadows don't crease. Then I'm going to be priming my face with the e.l.f. I think this is the Luminizing Primer, and it's very interesting. It's very gold, and it's very, like, kind of shimmery, but it doesn't come off shimmery, and when you apply your foundation over it, it looks really um, like dewy and fresh. And then I'm going to be taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I think that's what it's called. And I'll list the color that I use below. I seriously am obsessed with this foundation. Ever since I bought it, I've been using it every single day. Like, I cannot stop using it. It's amazing. It's like the quality of a high-end foundation. It's so good. Such good coverage. It's so comfortable. It doesn't fade throughout the day. It's seriously just like an amazing um sorry foundation i love it so i definitely recommend it it was like ten dollars at cvs and i'm just using a real techniques blending sponge and i got mine at ulta then i'm going to be taking the la girl pro conceal concealer and this one is in like a salmon -y color and i'm using this to color my color cover my dark circles um, just a little bit. I didn't apply a lot because I don't want my under eyes to crease and I'm going to be applying another shade after this. So I'm using the yellow one to kind of highlight and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just adding a little bit of that everywhere and this one just brightens up my eyes a little bit more and then I'm just going to blend that out with the sponge. And then to set my concealer, I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild contour and highlighting palette thing. <laughs> I seriously love this too. It's so good. Um, definitely recommend that. And then I'm going to be using my Fit Me by Maybelline powder to set my face because this foundation does get kind of tacky if you don't set it. Then I'm going to take the bronzers of these two palettes. I have both of them. I'm using the warmer one to bronze up my face and then I'm going to be using the cooler one to kind of chisel out my contour. And I will link all the brushes that I use down below. They're all Morphe and I'm just going to be taking that cooler color like I said to contour and then I'm also going to be taking that on my nose just a little bit to 
kind of give it some dimension. Then I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild blush and just applying that to the apples of my cheek and blending it back. To highlight, I'm going to be taking this Physicians Formula highlighter. So amazing. This is my favorite drugstore highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that to my cheekbones and to the tip, tip of my nose, ridge of my nose. Then I'm going to be taking a big fan brush and just applying a little bit more. Moving on to my eyes, I'm going to be taking this really warm orangey color from the palette and I'm just going to be applying that in my crease and using that as my transition shade. My eyes are going to be super simple today so I'm not doing anything crazy. Then I'm going to be taking that cooler contour color and I'm just going to be deepening up my crease with that. That's the beauty of makeup. You can use different products for different things. So I'm just going to be applying that, adding some more dimension, then taking this cooler brown color and applying that directly to my crease. Then I'm just going to blend everything out and then I'm going to be using the white color and applying that to my brow bone for a little highlight. Then I'm going to be taking that um, Physicians Formula highlighter and I'm going to be using the darkest color in that because it's kind of like little mosaics. And I'm using the darker bronze color and I'm applying that all over my lid. Then I'm going to be taking the lightest color and I'm going to be applying that as my inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to be taking um, the brown eyeshadow that I used in my crease and applying that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to be tight lining and lining my waterline with this brown eyeliner from LA Girl. And it low-key hurt just a little bit. You can use black, but I just wanted to use brown. Then I'm going to be blending that out with a smaller brush, and this one is a crown brush, which is really inexpensive. For my lashes, I'm going to be using these Kiss Blooming Lashes. I'm just going to be applying those off camera. Then I'm going to be lining my lips with this lip liner by NYX. I believe this is in nude or natural. One of those two. I'll link it down below. And then I'm going to be applying this Butter Gloss by NYX in the color Madeline. And it smells so good. And I love these. They're only $5. I got mine at CVS. You can get them at the NYX store or Ulta or Target. Then I'm just going to be applying a little bit more of that highlighter to the tip of my nose because I like that highlight. And then I'm applying some more highlight because, like I said, I like the highlight. And then I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild. Um, setting spray and I like it I just the first spray I wouldn't spray it on your face because it kind of comes out like a little watery but the next two are cool then it kind of smells weird but this is a completed look I hope you guys enjoy it please subscribe if you want to see more videos and be up to date with me and I'll see you in my next video bye guys